All right, everyone, buckle up, because we've got some groundbreaking news from the world of AI, and it's coming straight from Google. They've just unveiled Vio, which is the second iteration of their text-to-video generation model. And let me tell you, this isn't just an update, it's a revolution. This thing is so advanced, it's not just surpassing every other video model out there, it's leaving them in the dust, including the much-hyped Sora from OpenAI. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Google hasn't always been at the forefront of the AI race lately. But trust me, they've been Giopini working on something extraordinary. Ever since this December, it seems like they've flipped a switch, releasing update after update that screams, we're not just in the game, we're leading it. This is a monumental moment, folks. We're living in a time where the AI landscape is more competitive than ever before. And Google hasn't just shown up to the party. They've crashed it and taken over the DJ booth. They're not just topping the leaderboards. They're redefining what those leaderboards even mean. They're so far ahead, it's like they're playing a completely different sport. This is a clear signal to everyone else in the industry. Google is back, they're serious, and they're setting a new standard that's going to be incredibly difficult to match. It is fair to say that most of these AI models are built using technology developed by Google, so it's no surprise they are reclaiming the throne. So what makes VO so darn special? Well, first off, let's talk about the visual quality of the videos it generates. They're not just good, they're stunning, captivating, mesmerizing even. But it's not just about being a pretty face. The real magic lies in the benchmarks, the cold, hard data that shows just how VO stacks up against the competition. Let's dive into those numbers, shall we? They put VO head-to-head -head with all the major players in the text-to-video arena. First up, we have Meta's MovieGen, a model that's renowned for generating pretty impressive 1080p videos. But when compared to VO, it falls short, only being preferred around 30% of the time. VO, on the other hand, over 50% of the time, it's the clear favorite, the one people pick. Minimax, another strong contender, a model that's been making waves. Same story, hovering around that 30% mark. And now brace yourselves, because this is where it gets really interesting. Sora, OpenAI's latest and greatest, the model that everyone was buzzing about. When put up against Vio, it actually comes in last. It's the least preferred of the bunch. I know, shocking, right? So what does this all mean? It means that across the board in every comparison, VO is the undisputed champion. We're talking nearly 60% of people choosing Google's model for their full video generation needs. 60%. That's a landslide victory in the AI world. Now consider this. VO is only Google's second iteration. They didn't even release the first version publicly. It's like they were training in secret, honing their skills, perfecting their techniques. And then, bam, they unleashed this powerhouse onto the world. It really seemed like other companies with their public releases and constant updates were pulling ahead. But it turns out, Google was just playing the long game, and now they've leapfrogged everyone. And here's another crucial aspect where VO shines. Prompt adherence. What's that, you ask? It's basically how well the model understands and follows the instructions you give it in your text prompt. You type in what you want and VO gets it, like, really gets it. And the benchmarks, they prove it. This is a big deal because accurately interpreting and executing user prompts is one of the biggest challenges in text-to-video generation. Now let's get into the really mind-bending stuff. Physics. This is where VO truly sets itself apart. You see, most AI video generators struggle to depict the physical world realistically. They have trouble understanding how objects interact, how gravity works, how materials behave. This often results in videos that look off, unnatural, sometimes even disturbing, with things warping, floating, or just generally not making sense. But Google? They've cracked the code with VO. They've done something truly innovative with its underlying architecture. We don't have all the nitty-gritty technical details yet, but whatever they've done, it's revolutionary. Let me give you a concrete example. They show this video of a tomato being sliced, and it's so incredibly realistic, it's almost uncanny. You can see every subtle movement, every tiny vibration, as the knife cuts through the flesh. You can practically feel the texture of the tomato, the way it yields to the blade. You see the juice glisten, the way the light reflects off of it. And when the slice is separated and placed onto the other half, it settles perfectly, with just the right amount of give. It's like VO has an innate understanding of how objects behave in the real world, an understanding that goes beyond mere programming. I'm genuinely baffled as to how they achieved this level of realism, but they did, and it's a game changer. And then we have liquids, the bane of computer graphics artists everywhere. Simulating liquids realistically is notoriously difficult. It requires immense computational power to track the movement and interaction of countless individual particles, each one influencing the others. It usually takes hours, even days, to render convincing liquid simulations. But VO? It handles liquids with such grace and accuracy, it's almost unbelievable. They showcase examples with two very different liquids, coffee and syrup. In the coffee pour, 
you see all those subtle nuances. The swirls, the eddies, the way the light dances on the surface as it fills the cup. It's mesmerizing to watch. And then there's the syrup, thick and viscous, flowing at just the right speed, realistically pooling and spreading as it's drizzled. There's another example of coffee being poured from one glass to another, and it is so realistic that it's hard to believe it is AI generated. The way the coffee moves between the two glasses, the way it jiggles when the glass is put down on the table, all add to the realism. It's not just that it looks right, it feels right. This kind of liquid simulation is a testament to just how advanced and sophisticated VO truly is. It demonstrates a level of coherence that's simply unmatched in the current AI landscape. But VO isn't just about mimicking reality with painstaking accuracy. It's also capable of generating the fantastical, the imaginative, the downright bizarre. Take, for instance, the example of a sitcom where all the characters are potatoes. Yes, you heard that right, potatoes. Now, I'm not sure why anyone would want to create a potato-based sitcom, but that's beside the point. What's important here is the character consistency. Throughout the video, the potato characters maintain their distinct features, their potato-ness, if you will. They don't morph into other vegetables or start looking like something else entirely. This consistency is a significant challenge for many video generators, and VO handles it with aplomb. And then there's this other example, a prompt that's so complex, so demanding, it would make most AI models crumble. The prompt is, a car going top speed through a road until reaching a waterfall, and then it gets to the waterfall and jumps off a mountain. Sounds like a scene from an action movie, right? Well, VO generates this video where the car, looking sleek and realistic, races down a road, approaches a majestic waterfall, and then, in a moment of pure cinematic glory, drives straight through the cascading water, emerging on the other side before taking a death-defying leap off a cliff. And throughout this entire sequence, the car remains a car. It doesn't deform, it doesn't glitch, it doesn't turn into a random object. It maintains its structural integrity, its carness. This is a huge accomplishment because many video generators struggle to maintain object consistency, especially during complex actions and transformations. The waterfall itself is rendered beautifully too, with realistic splashes and refractions. I know, I know. For those of you who don't spend your days tinkering with these cutting-edge video generators, it might be hard to fully appreciate the magnitude of what Google has achieved with VO. But trust me on this. This is a monumental leap forward. It's not just an incremental improvement, it's a paradigm shift. We're talking about a level of advancement that's akin to going from silent films to IMAX in a single bound. It is a significant step ahead of all of its competition. Let's take another fun example. They created a cinematic action kung fu movie where the protagonist is, you guessed it, a potato. This potato is sporting a long black leather coat and it's battling it out in heavy rain. And it looks good, surprisingly good even. The rain effects are realistic. The potato's movements are fluid, for a potato, and the overall scene is coherent and engaging. You would not know it is generated by AI. Honestly, if someone showed me this video without context, I'd probably believe it was some quirky indie film, not something generated by an AI. That's how good it is. Alongside VO, Google also launched Imogen 3, their latest and greatest text-to-image model. And guess what? It's not just good, it's the best in the business, dominating the leaderboards just like its video counterpart. This further solidifies Google's resurgence as the undisputed leader in both video and image generation. It's like they're sending a message to the entire tech world. Remember us? We're the ones who invented a lot of the foundational technology that powers this AI revolution anyway. And now they're back, and they're flexing hard. Imogen 3 isn't just powerful, it's also incredibly user-friendly. It has this intuitive interface that's designed to be accessible to both beginners and seasoned pros. One of its standout features is this innovative drop-down system that lets you select and modify specific elements within your generated image with remarkable precision. For instance, they showcase this mind-bending example of a close-up of a human eye, and in the reflection of that eye, you can clearly see garlic bread. Yes, garlic bread. It's a bizarre and surreal concept, but Imogen 3 executes it flawlessly, demonstrating its ability to handle even the most complex and nuanced prompts. Another interesting prompt they use is a photorealistic image of a potato fighting a vampire on the moon. I mean, who even comes up with these prompts? So, what's the big takeaway from all of this? It's simple. Google is back in the AI game, and they're playing to win. The release of VO and Imogen 3 isn't just another product launch. It's a watershed moment, a turning point in the history of AI. These models aren't just incremental improvements. They represent a fundamental shift in what's possible with AI-powered creativity. They're not just better than the competition. They're in a completely different league, redefining the boundaries of what we thought was achievable. Now, based on my research online, digging a little deeper into what makes these models tick, 
It seems that Veo is tightly integrated with Google's Gemini models, which are considered to be among the most advanced large language models currently available. This deep integration likely plays a significant role in Veo's exceptional ability to understand and interpret complex natural language prompts. Furthermore, Google has emphasized the scalability of Veo, suggesting that they're fully prepared to handle a massive volume of requests and potentially make the model widely available in the near future. They're also making a big deal about responsible AI development, highlighting their commitment to implementing safeguards to prevent misuse and ensure that these powerful tools are used ethically. This includes working on techniques to detect and prevent the generation of harmful or misleading content. This is a truly exciting time to be alive and witnessing the rapid evolution of AI. Google has thrown down the gauntlet and the competition is about to get fierce. This is only going to accelerate innovation across the board pushing other companies to step up their game, which ultimately benefits all of us. So, let me ask you, has Google's resurgence made you more bullish on their future in AI? Are you as excited as I am to see what they come up with next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on any new releases from Google before the year ends. This is just the beginning of a thrilling new chapter in the AI story.